We want to get right into one of tonight's top stories. Right now, some people in Union County are under a voluntary evacuation after an asphalt tank caught fire this afternoon. First responders were called a little after 2 o'clock and have been there since. Fortunately, no injuries have been reported from this fire. The voluntary evacuation was ordered as a precaution for those living near the plant. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson has been on scene all day and joins us with the very latest. Jarvis. Well, Shell, here in the area, there's a heavy blanketed smell of asphalt and tar going around. Now, that voluntary evacuation that you mentioned was for precaution. Now, I got to the scene a little after 4.30 today, and I can tell you several first responders and multiple agencies on scene. Also, multiple people just coming by just to see what's going on. An asphalt tank fire at Southeast Emulsions has prompted a response from multiple fire agencies here in the upstate. It's 2.1 million gallons in, in that tank. And it, uh, according to them, it, it, it is full. Bonham Fire Chief says the tank was ruptured sometime around 9 o'clock this morning. They was offloading from the rail cars. The, the asphalt comes in on by the rails and the tank cars, and they heat that up with steam and pump that off of the uh, rail cars over into the tank. And that's what they was doing this morning when this incident happened and, and they ran one of the tanks over. Hours later, workers realized a fire and emergency management for Union County was forced to alert residents within a one mile radius of the plant. For safety precautions, we're uh, recommending residents shelter in place or just stay indoors for safety measures. I spoke with two guys who live in the area who say this fire doesn't scare them too much. I mean, sort of, but not really, just because I mean, we, it's been here for a while, but I mean, I ain't really worried. I'm not really scared because I know we have all of our firefighters out there trying to contain it right now. When I spoke to the fire chief, I did ask him what were the chances of the tank exploding? Right now, I feel for sure slim to none, uh, you know, but I always got to be prepared for worst case scenario. The chief says the fire is between the outer shell and actual tank. There's about a six inch insulated space between the two. And we got to have 1500 gallons of foam concentrate and we got to be able to flow 2,000 gallons of water a minute for an hour if, if that tank completely goes up. Now, within the last hour, I did reach out to emergency management just to find out if that voluntary shelter in place was lifted or what time it will be lifted. As of right now, I have not heard back. Now, you could probably hear behind me in the distance, there is heavy machinery there working on that tank. I was told by the chief that they were going to try to at least get a portion of the outer shell down where the fire started. As of right now, it's still unclear how long first responders will be on scene. We're live here in Union County tonight. I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.